Are you concerned that there are, there are very few details uh, coming out about the aid that's being afforded to cattle ranchers until now? So, what details are you referring to? Because we're not hearing much at all. Well, that's just it. That's the problem, and that's been the problem for two months. There have been very little details. So we are hoping that when there's the idea that there might be something announced, that there might be some details, it's uh, good things then for the future for these cattle operators, these ranchers. What sort of details are you hoping for, though? What kind of compensation are they asking for? What, what do you think they should expect? The critical piece is those who are quarantined, who can't sell their animals, they are the ones who have lost their payday, so they're feeding animals at their own cost and no chance of recovery because they're quarantined. So those are the ones that are really having huge losses of income because there is no payday they've had. So that's the piece that there's no uh, particular programs for that we hope that that is something that's going to be announced. So they get, they get paid for slaughtered animals but not animals that are standing and waiting. No. What happens with the slaughtered animals, when they are slaughtered, they are a negotiated price. But in the meantime, they have to feed animals that are going to be killed. So again, those as well, uh, is th because they're, they're labeled as to be slaughtered, but they still have to maintain feeding them in between. And there is no recovery from that. How big of a problem is this for some individual farmers? Huge. We're talking about people who are talking hundreds of thousands of dollars for feed where they've had no pay to recover from this past year to pay their bills. So they're having to put out money that they don't have because they weren't paid from last year's herd. We got you to address the main camera. How, how big is the, the problem for the Alberta farmers? If for 36 people who are quarantined or they have had their herds, herds identified to be slaughtered, it's absolutely brutal. It's bankruptcy time if there is no uh, funds in between because they're paying hundreds of thousands of dollars that they don't have. And what are you hoping from the government? Because there is no program, because they have fallen, these people have fallen through the crack of what other programs there, is that they understand that this is a piece that doesn't exist to help these people out because they have been quarantined by the government or said they're going to be slaughtered. So there is nothing in there to cover that cost, to feed them, to maintain them while they're quarantined or while they're waiting to be slaughtered. Should there be some sort of a compensation program for this kind of thing down the road for, for any events like this in the future? Well, hopefully they learn from this that in the future that they would be, that there is a piece missing here so that there would be something in the future in that to, uh, to cover this.